So I want to share with all of you my experience with Starlink because it is a game changer. Um, when I first started being live about a year ago, I had two phones with AT&T service, the other one with Verizon, and each one of them had 50 gigabytes of hotspot, which was fine. I mean, I'd get by, but come towards the end of the month, I'm like, oh, it's getting a little tight. I'm going to have to go find Wi-Fi. I'm going to have to go in town somewhere, which for me, I like to be as far out away from civilization as possible. I don't want to see another human being for like two weeks at a time, other than every now and then I gotta go in town and do some chores. But anyway, so I was getting by, um, I'd have to use Wi-Fi at laundromats, libraries, wherever I could find it to upload um, really large high resolution files of my artwork because the gigabyte hotspots were just wasn't enough. So come December, my dearest daughter, the best child on the planet um, bought me Starlink for Christmas and just opened up a whole new world of camping opportunities because I can go anywhere and have connection. I can call, you know, my daughter and I can um, talk to each other on the phone through WhatsApp. I can stream TV while I'm painting. And it's just, I, it is the best thing for anybody who is a full-time, you know, van life or on the road, whether you're working or just out there enjoying the great outdoors and want some downtime or whatever. It's amazing. I highly recommend it. Um, I'll show you my setup that I have now and then how I'm going to actually change it. I'm going to mount it on the roof event or have a mount up there and I'll explain why. But for now, I'll show you how I set it up. Okay, so this, when I have the, when I'm, you know, driving or somewhere where I need to bring the Starlink in at night, um, just because I have it just sitting outside on the ground right now, this is where I put it. Um, there's my monitor. Um, and here is where I keep the router stays there and then I use this window I just crack it open and I run my cords out to it so let's go put this outside and set it up I have a cat in there I don't want to let her out right now so I have to keep closing the door I like to sneak out She's not feeling well today so we don't want her out here we go Never needed much at all because I just put it right through here, a little hole in the window, and then go plug it into the router. Turn my power on, which my solar runs it perfectly. I've never had any issues. Let's go check it out. Okay, here it is. Comes through the window. Again, let's lose the door while we're doing this to keep Kitty in. She's sleeping up in the cab. And just put it, bring it over to here. Put this upside down. You see that? Plugs right in there. All right, now we have the router plugged into the dish. Let's give it some power right here. This is my battery monitor. That thing's almost always full. I have like the best solar system. I'll discuss that in another um, video, but it's amazing. Let's go watch this thing. I love it when it <laughs> boots up. Um, because it's like this little robot thing. So hang on. There it goes. It's looking for the satellites. Does that all on its own. I love the noise it makes. So it's like so sci-fi. And there it is. And eventually, in this spot up here, I'll take this insulation out. I'm going to put a, um, a hole there in my van. I'm used to drilling holes. Put that window in put four other windows in my max air fan um so i'm not too worried about that but and then i'm going to mount the starlink i need to get another one of these find them this is the mount that it sits on and mount this on the roof and just have like a telescoping ladder that i can go up there when i'm ready to move i don't want to drive with it up there just feel better if it's not 
um, so that I can take it down and store it. Now that we're all booted up, let's start the computer. I need this big old desktop one um, to do my artwork. Laptop just wasn't cutting it. Let's get this boot up, and then I'm thinking maybe watch a little Supernatural.